What's up guys? This is your very first flipped classroom. This is Mr. Clenert and this is ninth grade physical science. Now I might be a little goofy here in my voice for the first time but I think you'll get used to it and uh, you'll actually find out that you might have less homework when we do a flipped classroom. So here we go. We are starting the year. We are talking about science. You are in ninth grade. You are in physical science. What is physical science? And more importantly, what is just science? Well, all right, let's talk about it here real quick. Science, you're observing phenomena that happen around you. Why are things happening? Why do bugs, why do bees sting you? Why do plants grow? Why does the earth go around the sun? Curiosity, all right, we're trying to figure out why things work. And when we do this, we're going to use technology and we're going to use the scientific method to help us solve problems. But most importantly, on the bottom here, observations can be qualitative or quantitative. When we are trying to figure out what's going on, we got to make observations, and they're going to be qualitative and quantitative. And we are going to talk about those in class and the difference between them tomorrow. Now, obviously, branches of science. Well, we take a look at this real quick. There are three branches for natural science life science, earth science, and physical science. You had life science in 7th grade, you had earth and space in 8th grade, and now in ninth grade you're having physical science. What is physical science? Real quickly, it's a blend of physics and chemistry. You are studying matter and how it interacts with one another. So, as I mentioned, physical science, it's a blend of chemistry, it's a blend of physics. What are we going to study this year? You're going to study space and time. We're going to study matter and change. So elements, chemicals, uh, chemical reactions, forces in motion. If I push something, what's going to happen to it? So friction, velocity, acceleration, and energy. How much energy does it take to do something? Or how much energy does it take for atoms to move around? Those are the big ideas we're going to talk about in physical science this year. Last thing that we kind of have to talk about when we talk about uh, science is a scientific method. How do we go about exploring phenomena? And the big thing is, uh, the way I help abbreviate it is FEOC, P-H-E-O-C. We have a problem. So very first thing first, we have a problem. We're going to ask a question. With that question, we're going to have a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess. Within that hypothesis, we're going to have controls and variables. And we are going to talk about those as we jump in the lab tomorrow. Then we're going to do experiment. So let's say our problem was, do cats land on four legs when I drop them? You could hypothesize why or why not. We would experiment. We would drop cats from very short distances and we would make sure we didn't harm a single animal in our experiment. Then what we would do is we are going to observe. We're going to make qualitative and quantitative observations. We're going to analyze results. We're going to collect data. And based on that data we're going to conclude our results. Now one thing that gets often overlooked in the scientific method is my hypothesis right or wrong? If it's wrong, you're going to go back to the drawing board and you're going to start everything over again and you're going to come up with a new problem and a new hypothesis. Last thing, last thing that we need to talk about. In physical science, we're going to talk about really two types of changes. We have physical changes and chemical changes. What is a physical change? A physical change does not change the identity of the substance. So, for example, grinding, cutting, melting, or freezing. So, for example, if I took a 2x4 and snapped it in half over my knee, did anything change with the 2x4? Other than I still have two pieces of wood, but it's still wood. So that's a physical change. Chemical change, one or more substances that change into something different. How about, does it change if uh, I leave my gallon of milk out on the counter for a month? Is that, what's going to happen to that? It's going to get sour and disgusting and just smell awful. That's a chemical change. 
If I mix two chemicals together and something else happens, that's a chemical change. If I mix eggs, flour, and sugar together and bake cookies, that's a chemical change. So physical change is the substance stays the same. A chemical change is something's going to happen to that substance. So think about those changes, and that's kind of where we're going this year in physical science. We're going to talk about physical changes and chemical changes, and we will talk to you guys in class tomorrow. If you have any questions, save them, keep them, write them down, and we will talk about them in class tomorrow. Thank you.